You got quiet fast. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome, everybody, to um, the Darwin Day 2024. Thank you for coming. Uh, this is our 18th annual Darwin Day event at Hofstra. And if you're not familiar with Darwin Day, Darwin Day is a celebration that's held uh, usually at universities and museums every year in the month of February and to honor the life, the work, and memory of Charles Robert Darwin, the author of, uh, our founder of our modern theory of evolution. Um, this year, we are having Darwin Day on Darwin's actual birthday, February 12th. Uh, he was born February 12th, 1809. Uh, another very famous person from the 19th century was born on February 12th, 1809. Extra credit to the, the person who, yeah, I know you know. It's a this that I expect to be Abraham Lincoln, absolutely. A thousand points, especially from this, but I'll write you enough people. Um, anyway, so, so on, on Darwin Day, uh, we commemorate uh, Darwin's birthday with uh, lectures and discussions. Uh, in the spirit of what Darwin accomplished and uh, how he accomplished it. Um, Charles Darwin uh, is, if I mind, the embodiment of the scientific enterprise. Um, as his father uh, referred to him, uh, he was a man of large curiosity uh, who took the light in the intricacies of the natural world and he devoted his life to trying to understand and explain the natural world. Uh, from lava flows to lava gulfs, uh, Darwin's curiosity led him to eventually solve what he called the mis that mystery of mysteries, the appearance of new beings on this earth, which is to say new species, where he, he answered the question about uh, where do species come from. Uh, and in publishing on the origin of uh, species in 1859, uh, what Darwin did was he, he rescued the science of biology uh, from a supernatural underpinning. So by the mid-1800s, biology was the only natural science that still relied on a supernatural explanation to explain um, the world that it, it was going to stay with from the study. By, and also, of course, Darwin was the person who more than any other took humans and put us in the natural world, put us in a tree of life with all the other species on it, instead of being a tree of life. Um, so, so he's a, a hugely important person that, and if you ever have a chance to read a biography of it, uh, you should because he had a very interesting life and he did some really interesting things, uh, including uh, traveling around the world on a, on a ship called the Beagle uh, and spending a few weeks in a wonderful place called the Galapagos Islands. And I had the pleasure uh, in January of spending three weeks in the Galapagos Islands with a group of 14 students at them. My, colleague Mike Doris here from biology, a bunch of the students from the trip are in the room here. Um, go ahead, raise your hands. Give yourself a applause. <laughs> so we had, uh, we had an amazing trip, and uh, you, can, you can ask them about it uh, over cake, because we will end the evening with uh, some birthday cake for Mr. Darwin. Um, the, one of the fun things about the Galapagos Islands is that Darwin is everywhere in the Galapagos Islands. He, you know, he's, he's a very important person uh, in the islands for obvious reasons. Take a couple of pictures uh, of the group um, the front of the sign for the Charles Darwin Research Station, which is the center for scientific research in Galapagos Islands. And then uh, we were out uh, watching some giant tortoises. And this particular tortoise, he, he really took a liking to because he had a potted plant on his shell there that he picked up at some point. And we should write a paper on this because this is an old new um, method of um, on dispersal for plants. And to is that he stood up on tortoise shells. But if you travel around the whole Alphabos Islands, uh, you see Darwin everywhere. He's, you know, he's, every time you need to turn the corner uh, on the street, you see his, uh, see his portrait. We've got a couple of other examples. Um, nowadays, he was, uh, you know, uh, waiting on tables at restaurants. He's selling, he's selling the uh, uh, microbrew beer, which is the, the new hot thing in the Galapagos Islands. Cerveza artesanal. 
Sorry. Uh, not all of the depictions of him are particularly accurate. Um, I particularly like the giant statue that they erected uh, near the site where he first landed in the Galapagos. It looks nothing like him at all. We were like, Thank you. Sorry. Go ahead. And there are plenty of opportunities to uh, kind of uh, get up close and personal with Mr. Darwin. Uh, this is uh, a few statues of Charles Stallworth recent station. Go ahead. This one's my favorite uh, uh, along the harbor out in the city of Seoul, the town of San Francisco. He just looks very friendly and happy as it's got a little thin shot on his shoulder. Take that and he can shake his hat. <laughs> Hey, have you met Charles Darwin? <laughs> so, that's the uh, best man we're here to uh, remember to cite. And now let me introduce the uh, main event. Uh, we are extremely fortunate tonight to have uh, Dr. David Bernard with us so that to give our lecture for, for Darwin Day. Um, Dr. Bernard is an assistant professor in the Department of Biology at Pace University in, in New York City. Uh, and he also is a research associate uh, in the Department of Themology at the American Museum of Natural History. Uh, he received his PhD and his um, MS from Brown University, uh, and he was an undergraduate, got his undergraduate degree in biology at Clemson University. Um, I've seen him lecture before. Uh, the, his work is absolutely fascinating. He uses uh, an impressive combination of field work and laboratory analysis, uh, much of it involving high-speed photography, uh, to study how bats um, maneuver, in particular, how they land, how they um, come in and sort of stick the landing. And he's related all of this to the physical environment that the bats, different species of bats, of Cabot, and and sort of the, the ecological parameters that that they have to they have to deal with. And the, as he says, the overall goal of his research program is to resolve traits that drive species diversification by studying the evolutionary links among animal anatomy, biomechanics, and ecology. So it's a really kind of holistic view of what that's iron. Um, so it's my great pleasure to uh, bring him up to the stage here. What? How are we outside? Can you be in the back of this? Beautiful. Um, so, Brett, thank you so much um, to that generation. I think that for some of my peers at the beginning of a career, uh, to have established people speak you know, kind words always means a lot. And uh, thank you for those of you who are able to come tonight. Um, it's also a pleasure to, to kind of have a body to talk about the things one likes. Um, so, maybe you want to use forget, you, if you've had the opportunity to talk about some things like your stuff, because the people were those. So, it's, uh, you know how that feels. So. And it's kind of next model, but no, there's a true assessment in this all the So, um, at any rate, thank you so much for coming. Um, so the title of tonight's talk is called Endless Farms of Beautiful, a collection of short stories on bat evolution. One of those short stories will touch on some of the work um, that Brett got to see back at uh, the bat, so we're using that. But um, I felt like it was fitting to begin with words uh, saying the man and the saw. So, um, Charles Darwin, in this book, Hogwarts and Species, wrote that there is grandeur in this view of life. It was endless forms, most beautiful, and most wonderful have been our being moths. Uh, and this is, I don't know, I've been touched by a statement like this. Um, and in particular, we're going to discuss, I still some of this, some of his works for my talk today. Um, endless forms, most beautiful. But I believe that the reason that this quote really resonates with me is because, you know, I am an anatomist. I'm a biomech edition. Um, I'm somebody who's fascinated by the architecture of learning things, um, the physics of the men, can understand history of animals. So in other words, I'm interested in you know, how animals are built, how they function, um, and where they work, and in terms of kind of how all those factors interact to drive all the species ever to see throughout this down the world this day. Um, and ultimately, these kind of forms you'll see before are really what animate by to be a little bit scientific um, objects of my affection, so to speak. So uh, I wanted to, sorry, stick past, wait, so um, I wanted to invite you in seeing the world this way as the old trip. Um, and so this is the batch flying uh, forward in the steady, smooth flow of the wind tunnel. Um, and I just want you to think of it as it's in watch to look closely. Uh, and as you watch, maybe ask some questions of what you see. So you might ask, 
So what did those rings, what body parts am I actually seeing? How like flexible or bended or rigid or trolley or whatever? What are the material properties that they feel like? How do they taste? Uh, you might ask, well, what do I have in common that Darwin talks about pollution? We all involve the right things. So There's some kind of common sense. Those with it, I show that's. Um, you might ask, well, how is it sensing and so vibrant? Does it know where to move about to print the walls of the hotel? Um, you might also ask yourself, right, what do I think of this? Do I find it too much like uh, baby repulsive and it's somewhere in between? And so, kind of take this image out of that, kind of fold it into your eyes. And we're going to begin to look at some different forms. You know, some of the endless forms that, that are on top of so This is a different map. This is a testing with Cuscus. Um, if we see bats kind of flying around, your bats are going to pull under it. It's probably one of these guys. Um, but it's similar to what we just saw. But with some small differences, and you need to be able to pick up on um, So you might be just, in this case, the map is open. Why does it look like it's screening while it's flying? Um, its wings are a slightly different shape, but are they made out of the same structure? It's you know, the same parts as the bat that we saw the west on it. Um, we also notice that there's something that looks kind of like a lane between its legs. Like, is that normal? This is bat forms. It's normal. What is it used for? Do other bats have that? Do they do not? Um, so all these questions we can kind of roll in around your mind. And so we'll take it one bat, take a look at one bat that's totally different flying style. So this one is doing its best on the bird impression. So with this bat is flying down to a reservoir at Ector. You might notice in this case the mouse is closed, but there's like a work coming off its nose. Um, the face was longer, but oh my gosh, look at that tongues. Um, it's like all the way down to the bottom of the nectar reservoir. Like, where does it store that when it's not using it? Um, what does it add to the number of hummingbirds? If you need that, um, why are its legs popping all over this place? Is that okay? Uh, this it to move its wings in a different way to hover comparing sun and sword. Uh, so, I mean, like, there are many questions asked. Uh, I've been watching any one of these videos, and, and if you're asking, uh, I'm here to say, welcome. You're a biologist. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Um, you know, it's so uh, bats are different, diverse in ways that you know, go far beyond what you can see on the outside. These are a collection of bat skulls from the museum. You notice that some have extremely long snouts, broader forehead, is different types of teeth. Um, their faces might be upturned or downturned. I mean, there's no there's no limits to various the tight line and the bends. And their wings are also different. So different species like shaped wings, about different gun garments, looking so from a little bit later today. So um, like, so these are some of like kind of the most I guess even we have a surprise about the CA if it declined to be like those marginals the boldly with the contest and the tablets. That's all I have been eating sting out of the spell. This last part, for the spars who have been the RB evolved, I think is one of the think, most profound things that I can think race. To look at this form was beautiful, they're not static. They're not really beautiful, they're, they're middle. They're able to adapt to first the and big opportunities. Um, in other words, like life itself understands that life and fast responds really Um And so for me, in this sense, evolution is really what animates my art is beauty. It's what gives life its own name, the Um It's a my thing that like evolution is the soul and the soul the the biologist too. Um, and so it only makes sense that the team you know, that four pumps in ecology network and think about how the est that that nature of evolution um then gives us the diversity of life that gives us Darwin's and this flaws those two. So let's take a look at this phylogeny. I mean, um so so here as like seeing an evolution of each year of a cyclotic thing of us. I'm glad the students are raising their hand that so the best of the Oscar doing your work. Uh, and so just to give you a quick issue more of a section of what this is, the so deranged the circle you not know, all have to be um, in this case, actually, six of all the branches, it looks like three text around us the name with individual bat species. Um, you can then follow the branches then toward the center, and this branches and adapted cells as the species they look at this bush. And then as we travel down the branches toward the center, going back in time, um, in this case, about 60 million years ago, up to vast diverge. Um, and so we can see how those branches next figure out who's killing the moon. I started to understand how life is detected from thinking like this. And if you're like, we you might have some Lenko and Lushiri stories. Like, in other words, how did all of these bats come to be? Um, and so, unfortunately, you don't have time for nearly 1,500 different stories tonight. Uh, however, we can dive into the three that music I find interesting. Um, and so, these are the three chapters. So, we see the first part of this talk, we'll talk about what is it to become a bat? What is a bat? General, how did they come? And so, that to be. Uh, the second thing we'll talk about is how certain bats being the taste of good blood, siege, and empire bells. 
And then finally, um, I'll give a little bit of attention to some of the like the Indian and the so I mean, here stuff on how badass lands, um, in particular with some focus on spats that do it at various So let's begin with Kara Basics. What is a bat? Uh, this is a bad boy question. Uh, so we're not the first people that ask this question. Um, if you go into like the philosophical literature, there's a philosopher named Thomas Emily with the whole treatise. Uh, so what is it to be about the mind-body problems? Um, he writes that when he came without the benefit of philosophical reflection, anyone was spent so tied, close to space when inside it that knows what it's like to encounter some of them with the waste of all the light. Um, and so I know that we're not all in philosophers in this room, but as about my oldest, I'm aware that everybody has a bad store sheets. Uh, and so you're more than welcome to share those with you. I could talk about those here though. Uh, but if you experience something like this in your house, and we are, um, may have seen something kind of like this. So this is about chasing after a moth, um, a medicine finds the moth, catch it. Um, and we can breathe a little bit about what it means to be that just from a video like this. Um, and so watch this and think to yourself, what about this and makes it a bat. So if you had something like this in mind, then you're on the right track. So typically, I and mean, the things that have come to define the means of bats are really these two traits, passing of power flight, and also the ability to end the work ease. Um, and so with those things in mind, we might also down to be asked, well, like, what did bats evolve from? And how did they gain these the first place? And so for those of you who are in the geology department, you're probably thinking this a product of just a fossil you. Fossils are a good place to start to try to understand where I was trying to any leakage. Um, and so I'm going to show you the oldest known back ancestor of the bouncer. They ridged. Here it is. So this is a pod link to spin eye. Um, and take a close look. So we have a skull on the right, body, middle. Um, and this often think there's quite a What can I learn about back ancestors on this? Yeah. If you're thinking not what should put the allowed, this is really just a bat that but hold your. Right? And so a spoiler is that the fossil record doesn't really reveal that much to us about what the bat ancestor looks like. Uh, we we kind of run out of that fossils around this time period at the scene. Um, and you don't really have a sense for what type of realism they built and existed that we mentioned you know, us to back to the other today. Uh, but as biologists, we can use urban to start to find evidence and get to all crack up the series about that industry and see what happens. So two that we'll focus on biostand evidence of evolution of tree, so how are related species and their relationships will to tell us what bad ancestor probably looks like. And then second, anatomical, so which like teachers of share or stink on bats, but also between bats of species that all of us understand that will tire the strain of bats. So natural place to start, I think, is with a giant phylogeny, the biggest one that you can find. Um, and so this is the phylogeny in nearly all the mountains. So there's about 6,000 mammal species, and many of them are now where this phylogeny. Um, and as biologists, like, something like this kind of makes me want to like cry with joy. Uh, it's our best idea how them is all meant. Uh, and I think Darwin's a few proud of us to this. Um, we go by the way, the, is a dish guy here, but phylogeny looks like. So if you read it, you like all those stuff. And he had the idea about branching uh, it seems really in lineages and it's all the best species that grow the soil world. Like, I think I'm going to be sure. Um, and here we are about the water and the gears later. Come on, I believe we have to be in to read. Um, but just like our first, uh, our first look at phylogeny, we had the species listed all around the circumference. Um, again, it's no scholar notes, so we can read any of this. Um, the branches, uh, show us, uh, relationships and where they should back to nerves tell us which species of deer not we had such to um, and the time flows again is in the center. In this case, about 200 years ago, before it's the outside of this school. Um, and so let's start kind of this floor. This is getting attention to say they got bad news. Uh, but six humans, like they, we tend to be able to self absorb. We could get this out of the way. The um, so we are primates. Uh, we're grouped in with other primates. Now, another thing to know is that most males, you know, are actually rodents. So about 40% of the green animals are rodent species. But the second most are bats. About 20% of every mammal species on Earth that's available is a bat. So that comes out to about like just under 15 on it. This updated as of yesterday. Um, like any field and size, our dominant which bat species and this adult, this constant thing flux. Um, and give or check back. This is just really fell off the fur colony when they were out to it. give a day. Um, but one of the things that makes bats special, uh, that's central to understanding the of the industry, is that it'll be only flying in. The only flying people that wins here are about that game of six ever thought into it wouldn't. Um, and we may be saying, but wait, going back, other back flying slow. Well, first off, 
Five still are not closely related to bats at all. So they're um, the rodents up here at the top that get that to air. Them closest uh, common ancestors way, way, way back in the five last months. Um, but not only that, but they don't fly. Uh, this is the cow of the silver. I know the way makes sense, but it's the biomechanically they to glide in this. Um, so you can take a look at the video, but this looks like a squirrel jutting off the tree trunk. Um, it's going to extend its arms and its legs. And you'll see that why then we're going to call these Stantasia. Um, and essentially, this is like a wingsuit. You know, someone has jumped, so that's for an airplane. They sprint out, there's Stantasia, and it basically slows their distance. So, they're going to glide for extended distances, control their trajectory to some extent. That is the approach to their landing cycle, the tree. See what we got some ketchup cycling. And um, that rings its, um, its body, to its belly, based on the ends into contact with the tree. Makes its landing, the it scurry up and set. Uh, to find all this in the later. So impressive guess, but it's not in And those of you who are really into zoology, you might have heard it's why beavers. Uh, these are really big, um, very interesting creatures. Um, but again, you're a kind of spoiling spree. Either to these body, or are they each pretty things? So the names, you know, they can be misleading sometimes. So you're listening to called Kalugas, but other names, they don't find this. Um, but even though their icon is close to bats, they're actually not very close to good to bats at all. You used to think that they were based on their anatomy. But once we, still, once we started studying their genomes, we found that they're actually more closely related to, related to primates, meaning us, than they are to bats. But they also look really interesting with the vibe. So a great one about to take off to a tree. Um, which, you know, I just said, their particular are much more than all the flying squirrel. It lacks the hair, um, extremely broad. Um, they can glide very elegantly from tree to tree. Um, and unlike flying squirrel, they also have blending between their fingers, kind of similar to that. So, again, they don't share a recent, um, ancestor, um, but this begins to kind of tell us a little bit more about like, what lighting to it, what's up in different versions of the energy and motion of So, if we not die, fly squirrel as we include the ghosts, potential um, models for ancestors. How can we use other evolutionary relations as to ask to take a in this time? Well, we're going to connect the dots. We're going to have to know the places where these branches intersect us. Um, and so, that's closest to many relatives, it turns out, are actually carnivores like cats and dots, and uh, but also with tomatoes, so like horses, cows. You know, this stuff, there's a little like, whale icon down there. Um, whale animals is a whole different subject for a whole different time. Um, so, hopefully for a future Darwin day, so can we talk about what else I would like to make talk. Um, but it's a little bit difficult to project back in time, thinking about what it is and that can actually give rise to at the different types of scholars. Um, but there are scientists who will go out even further and they've tried to, to treat this drugs. The ancestor of the sensor tries any mammal that's out of horse and is very good in this. Uh, and it turns out that based on anatomical evidence on uh, AIDS, I like to wear TNA evidence. Um, they cut Haddon Carter's right here of what this specimen with this party is the metaphor type. And the general, it ends up being something that's small, a small mammal and squadrupedal, so it uses both um, all four layers to walk around. Right um, it's like the insect here, which is a copper loop small mammal and squadrupedal big med spins. Um, again, if you look back, so this is not necessarily the ancestor of bats, but it does something that can be before bats to produce that uses this real wet. Uh, just starting like who does it pick up all the tight ends? Uh, now, if we combine this with what we know about early dabs, they can begin to triangulate what your tobacco is. So, you might go tight. So, in addition to big slums, watch a few all ends and grips. We can look at fossil bats like productive injuries and see that there are vestiges of claws on all five digits. So, if you ever have to catch a bat, look at your house, uh, which do you and like that, that's you do. You might notice that it only has claws on its thumbs, right? So only claws on one digit. There are some things that have a second claw, all quite similar to their fire ziggers. That's only one family of that. So all the others, their little claws have been scared, just not in nectarous, the oldest bat there are. Um, and so with this 20 case to us, 10, Nathan Tim of Royal the Institute of Bats, so the in Greeks. Um, and if you look at the proportions of polynomics and try to model red spike, the good mic. Uh, we start to the list that insulin sort of closely and important to five and we'll send you to today. Uh, then we'll be modeling by Jim from Rod the Specific How I Drink the Sprudels. It's not the same kind of elegant how it's audit that we knew all the bottoms written. Um, they tend to estimate that it's more like a slap of lighting, so it's kind of a high rate to why it's like with slamming style. And so, with all this in mind, um, most of it tends to point toward a gliding arboreal insects and risk ancestor bad. So, something that's when we're out, we use. Immediate insects, we just gliding from place to place. Um, and that is what we definitely try to have them, have them consider our starting rate. 
per back was most of the tool for exercise this time. So with that in mind, how would it widen our own ancestor development of our DAS? Um, and so the first thing that we have to think about was, well, how do they make rings? Um, so bats, it turns out they make rings for hands. Um, and for the purposes of kind of what we talk about then, besides, you can think about that handling as being made predominantly of skin and brine. So first thing's going to be all the dense muscles, nerves, blood vessels. Um, but the primary thing for this to see with their eyes and skin, you got this. Now, when it comes to bat wings, it turns out they've just kind of played on common scene and learned their evolution. Go bat wing, go blessed. Dark gang, human arm, horse uh, limb, a dolphin flipper, and fertile. Ah, and which I noticed is that all of those that uh, all I guess were the same evolutionary was speaking out oh, in this and to see that the same developments that make into bad gang which of times emerged me. Then first thing, Mr. Paradosna, the Armagotaurus, indeed dreaded drill uh, and what bats have done to this basic template is they've essentially long ended them extremely long sinkers. And um they began to reduce Mass away from the shoulder by thinning out this, and also removing the neural context of this ear moving birds. You know that um, birds have their pockets, and some of their bones that lighten this the mass because the virus may sliding. Bats still lighten their load up and whatever they demon or less, it like this the reduced awake wing. Um, what's interesting is to know that the anatomy is may so to speak, so perhaps the order of the bats is called Kaiwa to a Kaiwa to a Kaiwa uh, so, you know, one of my favorite things, something that I love to make with the max is that so you can look at this and you know, it's a family inside all of this, right? So, I can look at my other balls. So, I can see bones, I can see the elements, but you know, they So, uh, I can see the muscles, the tendons, and all that. That's great. So, maybe what's not going to be. So, now that the exact same muscles are the tendons and uh, organ systems have been modified by pushing to this form stuff. Maybe as interesting, though, I get Alice to down. So, next time, I hear a shower. Imagine for yourself, means it might take different selective pressure lifts and some long in the years for us to get there, but I used to like, like it's possible. Um, at any rate, it's not just belly being something to me, right? So we have wing skin that spans the space between the elegance of the skull as they're uh, then for our bats do call this a wing state many very friends. Uh, but we so there's going to be the and different organ systems, different tissue types in that wing scan, but so we that are unique to bats. Um, like in a feet, muscle is embedded in the pink skin, but also the stretching is the our mass. The particular look at these muscles. Um, so these are, the name is a, it's a mountain to call it. So you know, the teams, the allies curve me out. Uh, it took take a long time to give that kind of under my own tongue. But uh, we grip like a base. You see that there too are these bright white streaks. Notice ultraviolet, the dish, the left. Um, we see them as red, as on a red stripes. with figure at them down here at this picture of a real bat make this. You can kind of make them down this brownish green. Um, stripes you know, from left to right of the spring with large branches. Uh, the structure is a vast about a model of pairs that put on the silk stirring both muscles to shoot. Now, what might these actually be forms? Uh, well, it turns out they can make a wing out of skin. Skin tends to be stretched, right? And so they flap the wings. Eventually, that air pressure is going to start to deform the wing. Same way if you stick your face out. Carl would know that things change from kind of the low out. Uh, a back wing, it's going to have a deployment lead to pillows, a bulge, unless it's dropped through your control this leather. Um, that's what these muscles are. So when the mid ray begins to stretch during downspurt, these muscles will actually activate the control. They stick on the wing membrane, and they tune in with her intro, the unit of light scale, to make sure that aerodynamic forces that are responsible for keeping that up, or maybe that sword, uh, all kind of tunes to the right, uh, rather than skin and for the stems. Uh, so these are basically and brain to this differs. So it's me to the shape of uh, Now, another feature about them is that you're in. If you kind of make it out, you can kind of make it out. It looks like a spiral web network and a membrane skin on this picture. Um, so these are bundles from a tissue called elastin. Um, so we have elastin in our bodies. So it makes your ear look stretchy, makes your cheeks are stretchy. Um, and in our tissues, it's not necessarily very well organized all the time. So it's, but in fact, ways, it's been. Uh, Coach things and discrete bundles that you know between the elements, but this and you get through about this, this like biological ribbons that are embedded with the human rights, yeah. But what these are stories they allow me to it just pack itself up and about with some bold spades. You also come to me, so the shape of the, um, uh, the kind of general structural integrity of the weights. Um, but see, this was you could see, but there was something before we actually went looms. This last two call was uh, stressed in. So, in our attack, you might notice that. The surface of the wing is the new elbow shear, and this is the end of the skin wing. 
about this free deal. Uh, the wing the skin has this kind of Greek rules uh, of your answers. So in about full of this moon, the skin is able to, to drink blood with Lord and I. So I believe we're doing this last and almost the skin of Sweeney and stock it loses that prequels um, of Chiras. And so what I tend to think about this is it's like a bet of course to just left it is things. Um, it's so good in the same way that you can use it off fair pen, the last of it, but the track packed and stuff up this is the same as training with that one was, yeah. We've asked for track their wings to get mad so, and there's a last time called goals and harvest and awesome to that. Now, what's interesting is that the patterns, so restructures, process, and hurt. The last time it's not the same for every bat species. So we have uh, not only are bat memes different in terms of their shape across species, but pattern, the elastic effort, and also the number of, like the location of the fossils in the wing memory are different too. And the fun thing is that we don't really have any idea why these differences exist yet. This is still very much an open question in that biology. This is like, so the paper that described the difference that only came out like five years ago or so. Um, and so we're just not beginning to understand what differences exist, but um, how to understand why they exist so current. Now, in terms of the other thing that characterizes bats and mouth flights, um, but also echolocation, whether they're sonar abilities is something that they're this. Um, so how do they gain the ability to speak of this? Now, uh, the basic principle for echolocation is more or less call and response. The bat will emit some kind of echolocation call to so it's scraping to the high sky. Um, these tend to be at frequencies that are higher than what we think here. It's the satellite will bat top to be on uh, the extra on the biomet off. Uh, and those returning sound will be like so be enter the auditory system of that bat's brain and process that I'm can develop an sure. of the environment of this unit. You know, I would use that to boost the rosa bakes off the sound prey. And so essentially what the bees will call with their voice box or in America, so it's the same structure that they're used to speak, the same structure that they're to speak to you tonight. Um, all the uh, five to various assistants of bats. Um, so they'll emit their call with the voice box and they'll listen as any echoes in the years. And so you'll often see the bats have really large dramatic ears and just take like shanks and ridges that will sometimes. Um, but the inner ear is also different. It's not just kicking up the vibration to speak in a back trip either. And so if you look at the inner ear of bats, both we have, um, you can see what one looks like in the skull bat top, and then versus a mouse with an autumn, what do you notice about the sign is it was that the bat's much larger. Um, and that's again to process all pinion and hunting, additional auditory information so it's been a little gruesome. And uh, the paper that actually came out of the recent that I found really interesting is that, so bats will have the at this eye, both the side things, this right. But they also talk to each other. It's ever been a barn called your attitude cheer the bats because like cheering with each other they speak at a lower frequency uh, but it turns out that those social communication calls they achieve those with the same kind of mechanism that death kill is saying they just to those really low like your group browse mm -hmm. and so okay. when those people are into that happen losing right sudden cure it can also think well and it's like that's how a bat will communicate to other bat fights by growling at each over by slacking the evoke the courts in the cyber way uh, but this is such a shout out to Yana Silas, a really wonderful scientist, the colleague and client that I was really excited from the speaker of his and now. Um, he's also a very instead, but um, so he is excited and they're used to other sites that one would have talked to. Um, now, that aside, when they are using hyperrogation to navigate the track three, um, they do so in a, a relatively systematic lens. Um, and so they'll begin with this search phase where they're emitting their calls to read the So they come into the rooms, made their call, call, call in, just to kind of get a sense for what is the space of like through my full house might be in the way then. Once they begin to detect prey about the moss, they'll begin to increase that all things so call and call and call and call the turn again. It's higher tempo or else we'll just figure out the bear step ball. We want to check in, wall street building. And then finally when they're about to hear step for prey, they emit what's called a steeding thought. So you hear this and do you ever record that um, it sounds like a that last simple thought of they're emitting three calls at very high rates uh, in terms of numbers of calls per second. Like this extremely detailed understand where the op is at very short arrows since um, and so that search phase, packet phase, there's such a this I'll have an HT like we've just found in this video. We're searching, tracking, intercepting pound, right? And so all these things they can use the one phase of hundred. Um, the fluidity, the ease, and uh, I could watch movies like this all night if you was something super average. You notice that it uses part of its ping actually to smack the moth into its mountain as well. Um, so that's also that I was using that uh, tail load ray that we saw, the one that they do and set of speeds. Uh, but moths sometimes also use their hand with the rip CD, but anyone with moth lives. Um, but the trajectories, the way that they plan out their paths is all experienced in areas of research. Um, and I wish I wasn't.
unfortunately, we were told. Um, one question that we can spend some time talking about, however, is the evolution of that more efficient. Um, and what's fun is that there's kind of an unexpected mystery cure when it comes to bass. Um, and so we kind of know, oh, actually, you need to know that. But this time is showing us how the bass stand. So we know groups of species that are close to their own. Uh, there are 20 families of bass. Um, and we'll break this out a little bit, kind of get a sense of what the mystery involves. And so this group up top, who's are not in male gay males, um, their homicidology to kind of give us a sense of perspective. Uh, these, if you look at bass, so they're organized in the chambers to share common answers with each other. So we have the Yidentero Chiroptera, the last day where they came to us. So the Yidentero Chiroptera and Dao is sent with us. And what's interesting is that you have the Yidentero Chiroptera. Um, all 14 families are developing. So these are all bats that use that location to navigate, create, or some combination of the two. Now, if you work at the inch of, that's quite foolish to account of that. So a little bit. Only five out of the six families that collection is at me. This one that doesn't allocate the tear out of day, I will be know that's fine, five says. So um, there's only one family when they make about 15% bat species. Um, they can, for the most part, they can be extremely large. They don't have to be big, but they are the largest medium for the large ass that we know of. Um, and they use vision to find the three months set. Um, and so if you've ever heard the phrase flying is bet, I hear tight, it's been sold a lot. Uh, again, this, Robin, this is not just for terraforming, they have other bats didn't have lines we can't see, but to some extent that vision is decreased other way it is to make way for air. Boom. That sounds weird, not a minute. Um, with this kind of organization, though, um, that makes the question, well, how many times did that's about that location? Not all of them have it, but did it happen once? Did it happen multiple times? Um, and so the single origin hypothesis um, states that, well, the ancestor of all living bats wasn't able to look at it. It not really something else. Um, but every single bat that in their mouth appeared at the same kind of the location from that ancestor, and the terapeutics just lost it along the way. They made a slight to pressure, it's relaxed on that location, and they were able to to move into each of their feet on to the to use the ends. Um, the other idea you know, is that, well, maybe there are two origins of bat boulders. We could actually fall twice in bats independently. Once for the angle chiroptero, and then once for the word reiter chiroptero, time boom tail. And now, if you're to ask me, Arl and David, which, which hypothesis is supported by the data? Which one do we think is right? Well, it depends on which data you ask. Um, so I may think of two recently kind of, so there was a paper published last year um, called hey, uh, but he's also bad. Um, and so this one is about uh, older than any bat now. Um so, uh, the person we had in such two people given on this part populations of the ancestry of all Meyer bats. And when um, the authors analyzed the, the contents of the skull they found that they told you at the interview was the same song as is living uh, go again, mass. Then they looked at the structures in Malta and Nagoya, so I took Jeff Cross and McCurt. They were more similar to Eggo Guinea bats, and they were not Eggo Guinea bats, and they were less similar, even more so, um, to, to not Eggo Guinea bats. So this seems to support that the ancestor to Eggo bats probably could have the old You can get in that favor here, it's the same or even. Now, another paper that came out a couple years before that looked at embryonic development of bats to see, well, how do the structures that actually are responsible for Eggo location? develop in the embryo. Not going to be similar, are they different? And what can that tell us about the potential pathway to spurt um, and to volume for to? And what they found was that there are two very different um, developmental processes that means that the yeah, location organs and enteric hyraptory versus meme effects. Cool. In other words, um, if they had inherited the same echolocation ability from a common ancestor, then why would they have different developmental pathways for building the same machinery? Um, so this is some evidence that points to, well, maybe the dual work to get me all the my instance of evolution of that work issue and that's. Um, and this is, again, just two papers. There's a whole body of literature. I uh, think all the time, like, like science, scientists, like, finally the village about this is why it is. I mean, I've been studying switch. Uh, and if you go to a conference, it's more spiritual. Um, but nonetheless, for us, the mystery remains. I think this is something that has to be about science. And if, for scientists, like, um, what is true to us when we can measure, right? If we can't measure, it doesn't exist. But when we do measure, and sometimes we measure it, you have a quiz and you can do it in person. So only when many people are studying something at the same time, you get a broad understanding that's not what we're confident in, where our questions still are. In our case, this is still a question. Um, and I'm excited to see the way this year's fact out to Taylor. And so that brings us kind of into this first one, right? So what was the back, you know, so we think that essentially it evolves from our boreal gliding ancestor. Um, and over time, they evolved flight one steer lane, they're still on getting their digits, 
routine that you know there's the webbing just going the wing the green stealing and then over time they evolved that whole that evolved the coordination and it was they get bored once but in any case it always involves specialized ovarians to it from are the body that this calls um enlarging the gears both external and internal they also all the neuroanatomical pathways for integrating modifying information building fiction of the world through sound uh it's all fascinating stuff um, but I guess it's a baseline interesting. What a bat is, how land out is. So, with that in mind, once bats arrive on the scene, um, so they evolve some really interesting abilities on whales. Uh, but one of the most famous ones could be could be the span for his. Um, it's a, a blood and yellow by so dinner is served. Here's a bent iron bat. So that was, it's a, as, you, as you watch this, you'll notice that it's looking up, in this case, it's echolocating like through some doves. So, so, I mean, it's a location. Um, Take a look at the spouse, also this giant no like stink on the south point, so there are spouts, a huge. Um, these spouts are extremely intelligent, very social, and you need to interact with them, you get to tell. Like they're staring at your soul and you brush the swims. But they have this really strong ability to push off the ground, that stink off them around the blades, like other bats, we struggle to do. Um, in other words, this is an extremely charismatic, as well as this feminist spoon as to why the uh, KSM some split by weirds. Um, but thinking about the entire that, so they would make a whole the big part of doing this and retaining the facts, it's time for a pop quiz. I'm not the Fritz. So you have to answer it. Just think for yourself how many of these facts and issues are made by this? As said, is it worth the task? Is it less than that? Is it less than that? Is it worth that? So have a number in your mind. How many species? Um, well, I'll highlight where the band are bats from. Did you just say you Because way down here, it's just a little tiny quirk. If you blow that up, we can see that it's actually only three species. Did you get it right? Good job. Did you get it um, so we have three species of vampire death. Um, so out of nearly 1,500 species, only three of this evolves the ability, habit of the drinking blood. Um, and that's, you know, it's interesting because so much attention, given that it's so few tasks that you have. And also, it's one of the kind of shadows. It's interesting about that with the grammar shots, like these are break little edge shots. And these are in the question of website. Um, now, all these, so they all feed on blood, but they're just slightly different in terms of the source of blood that they use. So um, the collar bit, back, the one on the top left, uh, they typically think mostly on mammoths. So we're talking livestock, like cows, more citizens to see. Um, there are technically cases of like 3D1 payments, but it's not something they do. Out of cat, it's typically an opportunistic behavior. It's not, I, I don't know, like any bad cut layers of this, which was thinking, you know, part of this. Sometimes they will take blood from birds, though, did its bill. Um, dying the stamina, the whitening vampire bat is kind of the inverse swing, so it specializes, D they will bird blood, but when they even have insulin, it can take amyloid too, and then that's file up on the hairy legs vampire bat, it's a nameless. Um, it specializes comfort, more like it's, it's a dog. So, and all of these live in Central and South America too. So we're safe here at Angel Refuse and the way that we split. So I'm orbit the Amian Force with me. No, um, but it did be a little bit this and then with the rest. And, and, but and see, with that in mind, um, we can ask, well, how did this come about in the first place, right? This is a common question this talk. How did this have that condition yeah. as we? Um, and so we'll return to some of that sewer logic to play in the tools practice of Irish noise music. Um, so I'll break down this thing here before we talk about what can suggest. Um, so first off, it was this tele bars right here inside. So these are the evidence of stat. Best you have two families of brothers and tear grants, but I still with it. And little brought to this. So most of I was the best. So you can think of these as like your standard thing. Now, within each family, there are seven families. And you can think of this as like ideas. And so these are the species that are more closely related to one another. And these include species that are both with some millions of one, highlights, and then others. Now, we add those with our teams. That's where our vampire mask was like. So, those are the three species of that sudden. Now, the branches tell us who's the way to call you, and then they diverge, and then those and stocks tell us who shares pump ancestor. No, it was like, who shares like a great, 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 So, in other words, like, these two, the Mephectra Day, and Carolina A.J. would be both just the way to each other, because the bigger that is, I mean, the Carolina A.R. to you at times. So, anyway, I'll stop speaking with weapons, they move all the point. So, I um, mean, this probably could live the diets to see how they don't usually die in that. And to just uh, them how blood they did evolve with vampires, vampires, and let's see the carrots. And what we can notice is that the ancestors are probably in such see this is an independent study of this kind of I thought to support our view earlier that the ancestors were got some insect to rest animal. Um, and that persisted in many uh the modern found lineages. Um that's called no, these are some examples of bats of insects with them false uh meaning this on seventeen and sometimes bats with mean insects, you make you teach them like grasshoppers or candy dips. 
um, Blood City evolved in vampires, and then scenes like William Vampire Spears, but other us, not a habit of this behavior. Um, this is about what I call Sang Withery, or I say Etcha Sangji, um, we'll call it Blood Feeding for Spire, Sang the Weird the Size. Um, and then True Get Green, so eating fruit, uh, or specializing in, to probably evolved after vampires. Um, and so this is pretty common. It blows past that there in the simple South America. Also, those really large flying foxes. Um, and picture the vast eating fruit are always described. Like, Does the fruit test to be at least as big as the island? It's not larger. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, fruit eating bats are also very really fun to work up. Uh, they're very social. Um, they would take uh, honey and fruit water really well, so they're pretty easy to trade. Um, to like all around you talk for like cautious. Um, but what we can learn from this is that the vampire ancestors was probably an insect for two. And so if they had to move to the nature dead, they're probably just going to insect over us. Um, and so I've had a flood seeding evolved from that insect to ancestor. Well, the leading hypothesis right now is that they began to think about ectoparasites, so the things that ticks, flies, some other pieces that are gathering around them, uh, or causing the wilderness to other other down in the sea shaft. Uh, the river ticks, birds here, and aims caused from insect bias on uh, the recap of right And essentially, that the timeline that this will have, so the hypothesis timeline would be that yeah, in the insect eating ancestor, they began. Um, the transition to game as or carrot science at some point throughout the first night this year. Um, and so then, they began to ingest post blood with them to parasites, so it's eating taste. It's also ingested in blood or uh, can with pickles sleeping on. So that can allow us to be the only whole time to develop physiological processes to digest blood as the means. Um, they began then taking blood from the wounds directly and causing their blood to stick or what. And that it brings a specialization on telepathy, the subway, and here is both process, uh, and then three species diverge from the competence of scat, three map bypass, two TAs. Again, there are other hypotheses that have always happened. This is the one that seems to be best supporting of this squad. Um, now, what's interesting is that along the way, they gained other specializations to able blood shoots, right? So these are the three words that I want to think we'll find in the time. Tennis. Um, so the first is a running gate guest bed by Mexico run. Um, so they have these well developed thumbs, also muscular strength to be able to run on the ground and they should just fly in the air. Um, so this is what it looks like for a bat to, for a bat, our bat to run on a treadmill. Oh, you can hardly merge. Um, you're a standard answer. Um, so what's interesting is that they don't run like any other mammal that you probably or skin. But part of the reason for that is they've had a degree of balls where you with flying as a starting from sort of taking, essentially running with the landing gear, so to speak. And so instead of having an alternating gait, or a cat might, they crutch walk over their flat lanterns. Um, basically, the poems have the strong muscles they had used to flat the ears, and then behind them, they've got bigger, uh, I mean, it's more robust to be able to kind of deal with this periodic. They come to the extreme with whom we'll see them in a minute that they have great stamina and great speed on the ways that help them, their life with their skill or their well. Uh, yeah. um, now, the second thing they've done is they've modified the teeth, their dentition to be able to, to create the words so that they can gain access to one of the big pieces. Um, in particular, they modify the inside of their so they get up butt teeth. They have butt teeth that have been shot into embroidered and similar to nine to four lives. Um, so here is a 3D model of a vampire bat skull. Um, and you can see this front two teeth, they're sharp, they're pointed, they're aimed with four, so that they can uh, better use them to create a way to the gas. So we bought now, once they bake that bite, um, they have to do it on something, right? So they specialize in particular types of prey. So we've already talked about mammals and birds. What's interesting is that um, they also developed the ability to set infrared sheet. So there are uh, pick organ stem cells on their nilly sips. Um, not that, not that dissimilar to what so I could see it was. But they can use that to figure out which parts of the sting have cat layers still with blood closest to the surface. So they can find the place where the blood sample is largely exists and then bite it there. And, um, now they can also feed out other vertebrates in addition to the mix of attention with that to be an evidence as necessary. Um, you can take a look at what it looks like for an I rat seen now. So this is a vampire bat at the, the foot of this list of the urine cow, probably wings. So the first thing I do is they moisten the area with their saliva. Um, we see it running up to the house through the moon for the wax. Um, they begin to then shave the fur and the others loop their sharp teeth to get access to the skin, then they'll make their bites. Um, once they made that blood incision, they'll left out the blood feeder as they can suck the blood that looks what happens. Um, and what's interesting is that they can, uh, they can consume until like 50% of their body weight in blood we get from the deal. So for those of you who looked toward the Super Bowl last night and Calico did eat 50% of your body weight, chicken weight was some about the bit of wire back and drinking the air crystal with the spider grid. Um, here's the example of a feeding on chicken. 
Um, so again, it's a similar approach. So what's the area with saliva leaf? Carrot. Um, and then will they come out? So the animal likes such fish for that. Usually this is the eye of ball for sleeping. Um, and so the chicken is really none of the wise real things. So this is disturbed by something. We can fall back as the like Mac Dooms back into it. Tended to go bottom of the top. Uh, so pretty interesting stuff. Um, now the saliva itself has been referred to as in some of the literature, um, in part because it's, it's more than just like from the mass and the muse. Um, so for one, it has an anti fibrous become um, tractular event, so it seeks the blood from the spot and you suit the blood sky. Um, the, uh, the saliva also has proteins that, that break up existing clocks that have an angel in the properties. Um, it also prevents the blood vessels from constricting to actually makes the blood help larger and increase one force of Um It also has proteins that have hidden the response to yeah, those. And then they also give very much healer that they must think come back to the same middle of the same like back to my ancient theory and, and so infections. Um, and then finally, we have this physiological method. So how do they do our being already blood? It's, um, now, there are a lot of things that they modify, a lot of ways that they've done it. But essentially, there are three genes. So one is that we stunned like this trellis of the tubular and simple. Hey, if you stretch to accommodate giant blood and jewels, then maybe two. Um, next, we have to deal with all the iron they love. Um, it's much higher blood than it is uh, foods. And so they have a special emission second until we back to a depth turn things that they attest to a contest to men. Uh, they become deep by the species. And also because blood is such a disbequid, they have to deal with um, liquid at a much higher rate their diets would. So their kidneys are able to essentially run a quarter drying the cysts that they give you to your arm to eliminate all that excess water as you're on within about two to five well that's of nuts. Yeah. The tigers. And so with all that in mind, we kind of sum this up. So how did that scheme taste with blood? It was three out of the rabies that didn't have space codes. Um, well, we started from the insect eating ancestor, most likely, and then shifted into retaining specific insects like vectoparasites and those that are eating a kind of set of animal wings. They then began to feed off goods themselves, indicating the ability to eat off blood exclusively. But along with that, they had to evolve to be run, to have sharp teeth, to set red, and to go out drug with a lot to make sure they the blood to still like the post stuff to it. And they then had to modify themselves to be able to process all of the blood. Um, and that's a bit of a first script. I just want to kind of shout out, but in terms of all of the movie vampires, in my opinion, the most like bad light or the most bad uh, faith called the fiction will be Gosperatu and a legit vampire back in 1920. Um, so you'll notice that he has on gauge digits like bats, the incisors are in sharp teeth, they have large ears, the potential ear is pray a little bit better. I'll uh, yeah, same as we get silent moving, but it's great to watch notes. And I'll, so, you know, to stick the landing to this talk, I said the landing for maps we've got to interact with Alaska. And this will be part of spent the past several years researching. Um, so obviously this will be an impressed version to pair to let up talk to your cap, but ask that contact to provide the word of book too. Um, but I'll start with this story. So why would we be interested in studying landings for an but so big as respect? Well, we have a picture of Daedalus and Icarus here. Uh, it's familiar the story that goes that Daedalus fashioned wings for his son Icarus on Icarus too, too close to the sun. The heat of the sun melted the wax that held the leaves together and plummeted to his dad. Let's see. Oh, wow. And the reason that I wanted to bring this up was that, well, the curse fell because he was fail, but he cursed because he couldn't say land. Now, in the same way, for biological flight, it's happened to happen at any point. Uh, it's not only the wings that have to develop, not only the flight structure that has to develop, but also a mechanism for safely landing on their cinch. Um, and so my point is that in the ocean of flight for bats, in some ways, it was to end up upon also evolving safe ways to lay in at their roosts as they were getting in the valley. Now, bats don't just lay in on something abstract, they land on something. Um, and in most cases, this is the roosts that make tall homes. And so, bat roosts are actually important to them, and still is that for houses are to us. So, dry is that there's a vestige, um, rise proximity to resource was like water, um, it keeps them close to their mates. Um, it's a place where they rear their yacht with some bats will form between colonies of all females that helped rear their pups together. The giant things would be skewed with Um They also enjoy which species they exist together and their social members. Bats are extremely social creatures, especially vampire bats, actually. And so the roosts are so loud as it provides as well. Um, and so some of these roosts are in general, but there are a few bats that involve really particular roost home hours. They want the ice line to be really interesting. I didn't actually know that this happened with all bats. I think were pretty was that some bats involved to bruise to kind of tubular structures. So this is about living inside a pitcher plant. Um, it's kind of scuma. Get off all out of the eyes of that pitcher plant. Um, other bats involved to live inside the furl tubes to movements like down the leanings, like our own leaves or our own leaves. Um, they call suction cups to stick to the inside of the leaf. And some bats also live inside of the family, um, which they colored out. 
Um, and so for all of these maps that live inside team newish computers, they tend to have, um, all converge up and evolve some kind of like seem to be um, you know, wrists, you know, their equals to allow them to stick to that loose surface. So some of these are really simple, it's just kind of like the large and question we did was somewhat slick. Um, others though have evolved like explicit suction cups or adhesive as. And in particular, this one on the right thyroid, but tricolor is one that's but fine. To put the two species that have done this the best are these two. So Mizukota really was in Madagascar, and then Thyroc and Tried all this things in Central Yeranga. Um, then they both gave the ability to stick to wings or to different mechanisms. So Mizukota uses wet adhesion, so it can be able to like wet a piece of paper and stuck into an, a wall, stick it wet adhesion. So Mizukota has some um, adhesive fats that secrete. Now we use that, and this year four was so I could also stay to lose. Whereas Thyroctor has wheel suction cups to hunt its wrists and on its ankles. Um, and all of these appear as an involved conversion way in the surgeon and association. Here's the same inside of the region too. And so Thyroctor is the one I've studied, plus there was sense of being so I'll talk to you a little bit about how it lands and how it roosts and South Green. So the question is, I was interested in more, well, how does Thyroctor get the track out of my head to all over? It's just there. Except, how does it get there at first come to And then two, has it evolved some kind of specialized in any word to the ML Risa differs from other types of bass that was So this study took me that we got the Jujuli in the west coast of this we got although the front end bats got hauled and got sent to the top. Where you got um then we found those bats living inside of where uh where we leak two groups and you can see the suction bats pressed up against the inside of the here. Um in terms of actually finding it, so we would Go out into the woods, um, walk around. So the Eloconia leaves that often grew in like trails, new marshes, wet areas. So it looks like I'm reaching out and looking inside of a leaf in the dental mirrors because I'm looking inside of the dental mirrors. If you're lucky, you'll see a little back, like key and back at you. Plus, we find the one. Essentially, you say, I'm going to use a first bag for newspaper. So you stay here a little bit, it's like two paste two in the back top crease as I transfer the bat to a cloth bag so it goes up the cave point. Say it was out to the land to rubber bins. And one day I won't lose yourself. Always make her to power to the empty before he does them. Because this bat's right here, it's territorial. They have to go back to the safe where he's five boats. I'm going to request to go back, read out in your trailer with, um, to where I'm to real all the sack around and with a dust to I asked her. But what did we do with them as a while? So I was interested in how maybe like, so I needed to find some really good this um, to land in an area that watch closely with high stink campus and measure their performance of force base. So I'll kind of scale to see how far they get in. So I tried to disguise my landing platform kind of like a furled deep swiss clear plastic surrounding the landing plate bat. Just the notice down here, there's a bat inside. They seem not to mind the difference at all. This is actually the wizard's bat ever changed. Um, give it that it just wants to go solo it up and start in team. So uh, this is what it looks like when the experiments happen. So get pushed by the little bat this time, but not the bottom left. Um, so it was that at first it's, I'm trying to locate the freight as soon as it kind of lay outside. Yeah, so if you touch its wings, dive down, and the stack cools up. And until the back side into the other side, and then finds its way down and you know, the detective thought and grow. So search phase, touch phase, sticking there, friends. Um, and what we found when we watched this close in casting video is that it matched what they did with the natural lease as well. So again, Gets to locate the leaks, and as soon as they're approaching the aperture, you over into it. They'll tuck their wings, they'll stop and flat in the rain. This is the dog bond into the leaks, a stick of their suction bus. Um, and we put a camera on the can side of the leaks to the score. Plus, you can see what's on them. And again, stick with the thumbs first, followed by the student. Now, in terms of like formally defining what the landing sequence looks like, you have to put that up into three different things. And so the first is an approach phase. Um, and so you go out in the field, the sea bats find them, we still send a circle around the leaves, trying to locate the fragment in the way too. And as soon as they do, they begin to approach from the front where that Wilson is the most available. Once they get within about 30 centimeters or so, that three actually tuck their wings and go to a ballistic descent. So those of you that are familiar with your high school physics, what are the stairs? See, they not just have male abilities to have us to dress. So that stop to area to dress active with their wings. And as soon as we go to the lowest two to go, Back to those. And then once they make contact with the songs, they can get in these So they stick into the surface, pretty big stuff. You know, tumble the two are out of the least to non result fashion. And then bring this, and you bring it out of that. Um, and so we can look at their cheeks, their body orientation, their distance from the plates. Um, and I'll draw your attention to this top graph here. So you see two lines, how it is through the yellow. This, you notice that of those three, the blue one is the only one that didn't insist that change very much. So what does that blue line represent? So these all represent a different ways to describe how a bat is oriented to the lady's face. So red is for body will, so this is like elevating one to you up another. 
um, Davis for buying picks, so L ring the team. Uh, I called him Adriel to Gen and then Gail was buying Gail. So kind of tuning the head into that terrain. What you'll notice, uh, body pitch, I don't think they notice some increase in the sanction of Mets, like Fire Raptor are landing at least. And in fact, if we take a look at their orientation during the time they took their wings, the time they get first to touch the go line, uh, the, the least of the thumbs, versus the time that they contact their second thumb and then are fully settled, they don't need to begin to rotate the bite to be parting their contact. Um, this is completely different from anything we've seen in the other island is deathless. In particular, so during the descent phase, their orientation is overchanged very much, whereas during that adhesion phase, a spite and kiss that seems a jam for us. So they're used to going through being horizontal to being bird bulk and click of the uh, top. And if you look at how low it before, I know it's near about by the how far it clay. You take a one that is red graphs here, so we kind of higher numbers means harder to pass. In this case, the total impact force is seven to ten times the value rate impact force. So maybe not how much you weigh, and then impacting it around the seven to ten times that it controls. Um, that can be quite a lot, you know. And so we're impressed that such a small bat is like four rams. Uh, the kids the same symptom like how. Now, but as what I'll make least to see compared to other bats. Um, so I've studied landings of beta expression in Malaysia, so I'll summary of that in it. But essentially, we've identified three other landing stops. So 2.3 carbon full, and then wall bit, how many points of contact in just to grab onto the nugget side. So at 2.9, um, essentially, when the bat fully inverts its body before dragging it up with just a, so I'm once like two, two pumps. And so this is a rotation, like complicated maneuver, um, but it's also really, you know, it's low and fast limbs. Um, so again, it's very complicated to execute lots of risks well, very delicate and cool. Now, um, bats can do this even with their carrying pups. So we have a uh, big bird, a uh, baby bird here. And you can see that she's able to execute a landing with a giant uh, baby bird bat just by as she's able to boot her by upside down, grab onto the seat, or land while protecting her bat dogs. And the pup is also like, hanging on to this entire boot service. Um, one thing that I've heard to study or so, some uh, colleague of mine here, who I mean, one of them is in, uh, our landing linear start at Nate and Bats, so I mean, Warren, no, we had to this. And it's not how to be wired to do it with their uh, lines. Um, but our, uh, another kind of landing style is the tree point. And this is kind of the tree, right? So if we're still contacting the seat first, it is here, um, all of our stabilize themselves. So. And this is a little bit more modern impact force, so a little bit less rotational, you know, the kid is in higher effects. It was, um, and the final landing style is the full farm. This is essentially a belly flopping into the mat, pitch of that grids in contacts with solids first. And so many of the things you want to contact. And you notice that sometimes the face of the end also comes into contact with the manic side as well. Um, what I hope is clearly used that, depending on the lighter stuff, I hope that the types of rotations necessary are, are distinct for people, both of this and cross Allenbury. Um, the performance is also, so we look at two versus three versus four components on the thigh rock during the seat, but the life force increases as the number eight uh, points of contact to So two point meters or over that, all the body widths. And it was all the way up to, again, then six to ten body get counts. So that, now, rotational complexity, when we measure it, also goes down. And so this gray bars, higher bars tells us more body rotation required. Um, so you can see that it moves down as it moves up two point to three pound full round. And it's finally fire up there. It's just at eight. But as we look at the details, we see that, really, we're losing the importance of null and the odd. So that's our system relying more on pitch to um, execute server lighting and either just in our chemo type of rotation. Um, and so one of the things that we found right this, but every not then a bad crash coming. The first I thought, well, these are trials that can't sleep, it's not a successful landing, so it's not that fun it is. Um, but it turns out that we thought about SIP to four and we think these are kind of weak quote perceptions that appears to be the rules. Um, so in this case, you can see this is about um, that under rotate, right? So it, it's not here to generate enough sense of rotation to land in reality like, fashion. We switch to what it should perform the full impact narrative. Instead, it performs so at one point, he didn't use this in the HMI, it's not enough that it did get set. Uh, and so whenever I showed him this, I always took the Rooster Powell, he's my little Alice, for a bad in case. Um, but the thing is that under rotation leads to an incredible cost of impact force abuse. We eventually knew I had six cents back to your mic, so we're starting. And so, in terms of that evolution, and evolved in different men, they saw it seems like there's a relationship to how rotation contours the mimic grids and how much control that rotation gives them over the impact force and in the pursuit. Now, again, the question that I'm always asked by is like, so we, I do well just find this stars. Why, why don't they all just land the same way? Well, my idea is that I think that it's probably related most into what they respond. Oh, that makes sense, right? Why do you want something? This will probably use the nearest bike. They'll send me a vision and thought that was. Um, and so if we take a look at 
um, planning styles or cost committing if that's issues. Um, I color could this, so four points are blue, two points are kind of a yellow color, and then for three points are red, side alter to column rule over each We can project back as on reconstructing such condition. What we find is that we look at the nodes, the majority color is the, the, the shows us the probability of an ancestor in the portrait chart, those style. And what we find is that it looks like the common ancestor get back to the ones that new that probably perform a four point red. And that might look kind of familiar, right? So we saw the gliding and then if you go into the call land, this whole place, the pre commas, uh, vertical tree chunks. And so if you had a gliding ancestor, the best, a four point red and seems to make those sense. Um, what's interesting is that we analyze whether or not it's going to do different types of roots, we find that four point then is tending to be related to resting in crevices while in tight folders. So, you know, um, like these that won't store that high grade impact, or they're resting close to where they land when they love resting that have to crawl to a crevice or a crabble noir. So what that might look like is they might do this as a plant ending inside just to a cave. And so it becomes a full time landing on a wall and then immediately be well, out of the studio is that you practice trying to catch the least just really practicing because the theater trying to spell to a rack of wall kind of this. Um, and so this is how the video is from the wall, I'll tell you the but it seems to make sense until it has very not top of sense. Now, two point man, he's evolved three separate times and we still can know us. Um, it called in species that when we saw your syphilis surfaces, actually the sea waves, um, tree, how about those things about the church, you can places where the surface is stiff and unforgiving and precision, the load of is probably provided at a high cost. Uh, from four bats or there, or four bats during the book, or a box with some priests, owl, and nurses. Um, here, but I didn't say actually, a box is recently, and only in lineages that priests support these tents. So that's why I see up the so bats are even genuine size. So the man on these fight the, the veins, Larry, so that the weak troops to form a protective tent, um, and you measure to put any of or in these inscriptions. So we took that the higher impact force, we find the lineage is the more us of the third by risking at least. Um, the fact that it's a complete coin, not a full one, is probably because they had a cheap and an ancestor. And so, two foot from the two romantic ancestor, um, and then try to relax the kind of selecting pressure on the stiff granites, um, plus they have a few years Um, we also found that one that we have all still front landings after shifting to the time cool editors to him. And finally, by Rotter, the sentence on the universe said, Bot the full point when you need a to the bag according to its specific roots and how And so, I'll end with kind of the details familiar to that story. I that up. So in terms of why I think for the own specific we still got no specific landing style, and I think it has to do with priest compliance. So again, I in text was with uh not a source that was all that impact seems to make sense in this as to where uh also the spatial instrument like the roost like you want to see it which have a land is dying fire rock you so because the least opening is narrow the bat might have to actually rest its wee beats like so that gives means can gain access to not um also, because of no longer thought to reduce the general or control the orientation or bias, and that big blind don't run to tell them they top tabs. Um, there is the roosting posture, so unlike almost every other bat, these bats we set up inside of the roost. Um, and so instead of landing on a ceiling where grad being a cult to decelerate, they had to land on something this felt on the flow. So when they tuck the wings, they began to accelerate into the reach, but just readings of the higher pastors. Uh, and then finally, the attachment of the suction might also matter. So, we need to make contact with the suction cows first to ensure that they stick to the mini food by tunnel them. Um, so, their binding style up ensures they can stop grabbing up these they stem those nose for it uh, in order to make good contact with their piece of the pass before settling down to protect us. We thought it's done. And so, when we kind of take all this information together across the Iraptor and multiple species, we sort of found they've come to a picture where since I've reached the lead the IDA cannons are linked. And now the question is the ones that are trying to figure out other weak anatomical structures that are associated with these two have certain types of bodies that are all to suit the certain types of landings, to certain types of colossus and bombing. And so in terms of sticking a landing, stick the bass the balls and the four point that can have such a potential to someone to a man Um and that they've evolved different landing styles to loose to many duplications. I mean, particularly Thyroptera modified its landing style to such and plus service use. So um, the very distant inclusion of our up piece for like three each four stories, which might I'd really appreciate your attention. Um, and I'll leave you with kind of where we think I uh, like this time I just want to invite you to enjoy this higher way you work to bot it's um as we watch this together and you can probably see it now a little bit closer to your way of it than I do. Um so like I see lanes that evolution is fashion with the same materials as bones that I should blend. 
their wings are on my arms. Um, I see an animal with mysterious evolutionary apps. Um, there's still the word that science can reveal about how bats came to be in the first place. Um, and finally, I see just one iteration on an endless theme of beautiful white with arms. I really can't help but want to learn more, um, to discover more about how evolution shakes such a new world, Paul Gason, and this as an inside chain. Uh, so thank you very much for the happy stories, questions, until he comes to that. So if uh, anyone has questions, so I'm raising hand and I will bring you a microphone. So we don't need the question. Um, hi, I'm Paul Thank you very much. Uh, that was a very impressive talk. Um, I wondered about the, the social behavior of bats. Uh, you talked about this too much. You, you said that, for example, they were, they were pretty social. They could communicate with each other. Um, do they live together, hunt together? Are they solitary? Yeah, so, um, so the social behavior, and again, so it's like sort of a thing, but that's death. Uh, so the social behavior is an independent species to some extent. So um, some species will roost uh, by themselves during parts of the year, but our groups during the parts, males can sometimes boss on their own during like uh, raid dancing zones, whereas uh, females will bring together in most pups spin groups. Um, vampire bats are really interesting example of social behavior. Uh, so they actually um, have evolved uh, in a social system in which they share their on fields with bats that can't move the group. So if the bat is injured or elderly, they'll come back and that's a little bit gross, but that is just double regurgitating. So I just share it with another bat. I mean, all that is built on two ship on See, they do have other bats that are proposed about it to them. Um, in terms of how they communicate, so they go use spike. Um, it's what's called social bombs to get flown out in the roost. Maybe something as simple as like, ouch, you're, you're touching me, please stick away. Um, I don't know very much about um, what the finding iterations in staying through, so whether or not they're saying a good rubbish that are four day size or water sources. That, um, there's probably weird to John, but it's not, I mean, it's a great in time. Um, that being said, the roost itself tends to be a uh, decision the rash. Uh, not be a here. Um, the bats give you, you know, the wild just find it. But they sometimes they'll use their sonar to gem other bats so far. Well, so they can get to the bomb scripts. Um, so in that case, they're, they're competing, but they may not be out of max. Don't. So I have scientific questions as well, but something I wanted to ask that was more personal was, do you have estimate or how many species the bats that you have interacted with personally, and also how many places have you traveled to to study with bats? I like being so. Okay, so in terms of, so I'll make I'll make, I'll make a decision. So in terms of bats that are still alive, that have more eggs than turkeys on most species, um, so you probably could think how many well enough figure out to probably do like forty different bat species. Um, and that's taken me to the uh, Bolani. Costa Rica and Belize, the Gulf area, specifically. Um, in terms of bat specimens, like a museum that I've worked with, I mean, that's so brown because um, but bells are obviously kind of less carries bat right in any area. So, so we get to see this spot. But yeah, and like, so part of others are talking with us doing that I didn't know before. It was like, I, I've never really traveled much before I had started my similar different blacks in the two rotating to buy the car. But I see some people grow up outside of the being a scientist, so I tell her get to that. And so there's like, but. Oh, that was the only question I had in mind. I just wanted to say I wanted to ask the thing to score right now. Yeah, but so. thank you. Thanks for your presentation. The book is instead of pit. You can get two books to that. Um, um, I'm interested in human development, but also now in bat developed things. Do the uh, parents of juvenile bats play any role in the process where they figure out how to slide? So this is not something that I know. I'm not sure how much we really know about it, just learn what Socrates is in. Um, so given that the pups, so in terms of you know, the kind of special, but I can better term the special, which just doing the pups and the mothers while the pups are still unable to slide. Um, mothers will carry their pups on their bodies that we saw in the video you know, as they're new with all the pups slide to stay down there. Um, when mothers go to, uh, to forage, often they'll leave their pups that mine and prove sayings, uh, you know, later inside that. And so you got bugged in back. Um, in terms of the, the, the timing, like the ontogeny of those flight development and bats, I'm not allowed to put it short. And I'm not sure, again, how much of it is similar. It's hardwired in the data versus something that's where, you know, from observing 
other vaccine elements for the United States and actually present on the Biden's during slide. Um, this is something I can say though that we brought up to the sport. So Donald Biden's coming to a uh, situation like he's coming to do some for uh, that back holiday on the side of it. And so our plan is to set up um, more or less, I guess, is simply Nate just tell him to observe kind of like that a, a broad scale. Um, what are you about being born and when they begin to fly? And once we see them, they'll begin to decide to take the couple of years to watch them. That was the more close detail to various experiments. What are their meaning for us? I don't know, the emotions of the language. Um, how do they begin? How do they find the thing that we're fine flesh that I need time with this and it? So the strategy is I, I don't doubt to I hope I'm very interested in that topic. So, but Hi, so, so I was just wondering, um, I know you do a lot of work with like landing attachment and I was wondering if that could tie into like the style of flying, like that muscular turn that um, is so different among the different kinds of bats. So like if different land, like if different species of bats also that have different landing, but t- um, attachment styles also have that different muscular chair among the species. Yeah. So you like you basically just kind of like tested them like the entire like point that what I do. You that's like so how how is it that connected to move at, right? And so I love that you're already connected with these things. I say that um, I haven't really thought too much about whether that the main the brain muscles are connected to with mixed styles. Um, in part because um, I'm not sure how important these. Uh, like wing midbrain tension is at the time of landing because bats are they're floating their wings in the same ways and also they didn't kind of see same reflecting at that time. And so at least like by the and now that we get how important here's hustles would be at that instant. And however, um, there is the possibility that the muscles are so it's a number of muscles are just all the way to the woods with like at speed on to their flight style. So some bats will do extremely high dollars the speeds of catch the insects on the high host. Clearly, it's like it migrates out to bottles. Um, other bats tend to be more specialized to find your very cluttered environments, like forests. So they're called being visible or agile, or the swirl their flyers. Um, and then some bats are like, and you get a wrap going in forest, like out. Um, and so, I can have really high hypothesis, right? Is that uh, some combination of the eight of the way and they arrange that kind of count the position that we like less as by people running into flight style, which means so tends to be the wood out of a seat while the bird is inside of that type foraging. How was tied as cow would read the carry blanking and so speaking of those wing structures um is the patterning consistent from individual to individual or is it more of like a fingerprint for those different beds so you're speaking specifically about the integrality wing the brain structures yeah um so when it comes to the bustles my understanding is they tended to be in a species by species with state. Um, the, the, the duration of the last of the virus, though, that's something I'm not sure I got that. And so I need to go back and refresh on the rest to what I thought. That's the one I can go very just like think about versus the BS. We need to. That's like that. The number of us is that a species. This is also Warren Defoe is the best of us for our team. Uh, I have to see, I can see the, the, the reboot again. Yeah, that is bad hot. Yeah, it's like it. Oh, I bet some of my English. It's there. Thank you. All right, why don't we, uh, why don't we come up and have some cake and 